안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami. It's been a couple weeks since I've cut my bangs. I am going to cut my bangs straight. Like it being a little wonky. Oh my gosh. I thought now's a bit of a good time for me to do an update on how I style them and how I make them look okay. And I only use this one tool. So as you can see right now, my bangs are covering my eyes and they are like a little bit, they're, they're like decently put together, but they're a little bit awry. So what I like to do first is just kind of smooth them out with my Velcro roller. This one I got at my dollar store. I must have got a pack of six from Dollarama for $1.25. And guess what else I got at Dollarama for $3? Yo! Because I cut quite a bit of width, I like to leave out the ends when I do style my bangs. Just grab the middle section right here. You can see that I left quite a bit. And then literally, I just <laughs> roll it. <laughs> this is not a very special tutorial. It's literally just like how I style my bangs. Whenever after I wash my hair, I make sure to blow dry downwards. Like I'll blow dry the hair and I'll blow dry it like this so that my hair lays flat on my head when it comes to my bangs. If you blow dry like this or upside down, your bangs are going to stand up. I just take my hair and I roll it in this Velcro roller for about three, anywhere from three to 10 minutes, depending on how curled I want it. And then I kind of stick it to my scalp so that there's a little bit of a lift here and there's no like creasing that's gonna happen. I normally like to put my hair in the roller when I'm either washing my face in the shower or I'm doing my makeup. If I leave it in for three minutes, usually it's below my eyebrow. If I leave it in for more than 10 minutes, it's usually like all the way above my eyebrow, the, the curl. So let's go ahead and get ready and I'll be right back and show you what it looks like after like, like three to five minutes. I'm back. Let's see how my hair done. It's like really subtle. Nicely styled and super easy. Of course, the longer you leave this hair in, the higher the bulb of your bangs will be. But I find doing this is enough for me to style my bangs. I don't have to use any heat. I don't have to put any water on it. I don't have to damage or burn off any color off my hair. Some people find that it's helpful to wash your bangs, just your bangs. So tying up your hair like this and literally just shampooing your bang area. If that area tends to get a little bit oilier faster than the rest of your head of hair and you are not at your washing schedule yet. I found that to be really helpful when my hair was black, but now that my hair is bleached, it's a lot drier. It needs those natural oils and the oils don't really show up as much on my bangs. I find using the roller is good enough for me. Sometimes I like to carry the roller around with me when I'm in transit and when I feel like my bangs are getting a little bit more droopy, like poking my eyes, I kind of throw this in there for maybe one to three minutes. It props everything back up. This is literally just honestly how I style my bangs. No special tools, no expensive thing that you need to buy to get your bangs to look bomb. I mean, this looks really natural and it doesn't take much time. It comes out different every time depending on which way the roots of my bangs are going. I know this was a super simple video, but I hope you found it helpful anyways. Hope you liked this one. Definitely make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification if you'd like to see more from this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe on our family channel right here so you get a new video every day. I also post every day on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. So I'll check you out on those platforms if they are platforms that you use. That's it. I will see you next time. Bye. Today's feature comment is from Jimin's booty is bigger than your future. Hope world. Um, okay. Who else loves hope world? Because if you watched up till here, first of all, thank you. Second of all, please leave your suggestions for your favorite mixtapes. I think mixtapes are really fun because they're not like full-blown albums, but they are a lot of time, creation, heart invested in the mixtape. And I'd love to hear any fun, cool new tracks. So leave them down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.